Um, well, I wanted to make a comment now, Rishi, about um, how uh, unchanging the non-changing part is, or, or how we're to understand it. Because uh, you've said that the inward directed awareness maintained the non-changingness of the laws, which um, would imply that perhaps they're not, uh, well, if we uh, consider an analogy to um, the maintaining the non-changingness, um, take it to be the um, maintaining of the temperature of the body by the various thermostatic mechanisms, then it's always found in a situation like this that there's a small amount of change and what the processes do is to reduce the amount of change. So we could say that locally um, whatever processes or laws function, they reduce the amount of change and in order to look for the unchanging part uh, we'd have to look for the average of a very large number of possibilities. So it may only be um, averages which are unchanging, whereas every individual thing is itself fluctuating a little bit. Ah, ah. I think the picture is very interesting. The picture is interesting in the, in the, in the sense of that the, you say, uh, all these state of excitations in the relative and then the level of all, no, no excitation here in the, and then we were trying to see the two levels existing in this area, two levels existing in this area, even though it's very difficult to, to truthfully do it, but for the sake of analyzing the character of this, we felt that we have, we can divide it in terms of two levels of, of this area. One we, may, one we may say this, which is in this direction, as opposed to this, which is in this direction. If we, if we allocate direction to it, all this wholeness, but, and this is just the structure of total knowledge, total knowledge is here. Laws of nature come up on these levels to determine their continuity and their uh, property of organization and all that. So laws, laws of nature here. Here we were uh, locating the source of all the laws of nature and in this source we felt we can conveniently divide the character of this. It would be more, it would be more correct if we divide the character of every point of this area because every point is the whole every point. But for the convenience, if we take this to be the whole point, then we divide the point into two. And this dedicated to itself, and this is somewhat, somewhat open to outside. Now in this, what we can see is a very beautiful principle that we start, uh, when a man runs, he wants to run in this direction, but he takes a momentum by drawing back. Drawing back at this. So the momentum, any momentum of this side, it starts from this side, from the backward, some little backward. So in this tendency of opening in this direction, and in this tendency of opening in this, di in this direction, we can see a kind of momentum a kind of a momentum available on the opposite side of it. This thing is pressed for it to come on this side. This thing is pressed to come on this side. Some kind of the, some sense of sense of uh, push, sense of push on the other side. So if we see that there is a, a, an aspect of nature of this consciousness to be unconcerned with anything. The sap not thinking of becoming anything. The sap introvert in its own nature. The, so sap is only sap inside. So 
if there is a tendency of maintaining the status quo of it in its own direction, then there would be some warmth of this move in this direction, some kind of warmth. With this warmth, we, we, can, uh, we, we can see a, a, a line of distinction between this and this. Seen here, this line of distinction is not in this way, but the line of distinction in the nature of a particle of this. Every particle of this within itself is found in two tendencies, uh, outward moving, inward moving, some kind of thing. And, and there is a, there is a, a kind of uh, a kind of uh, concrete value of action. When this way, but getting this way, there is no action, but the principle of action can be located in this tendency of n not moving and moving. Now, this tendency of moving and not moving are the two tendencies of the non-changing value of this field. Non-changing value of this field in itself gets divided into a kind of into a kind of two principles. One is to hold on to its non-changing value and the other is to have creativity uh, uh, inspired in, in its own structure. So, so, so in this way the structure of the of the holistic uh, uh, the holistic structure of pure knowledge gives us two tendencies. Now, so this tendency we say we give it a name P tendency Purusha, and this tendency also we say now P Prakriti. But in this we say P U, in this we say P R Pra 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 Pra. Now, when we say pra, the very, <laughs> it's very interesting, it comes out that way. <laughs> when we say p, p is a very liquid kind of sound, but when we say pra, there is some kind of activity in that. And when we say poo, poo. <laughs> there is liveliness, but not of activity, it's poo. <laughs> so, so we can conveniently, in order to, <laughs> in order to give expression to the character of this field, we can say it can be expressed as pra. And the character of this field, in order to express the character of the field in the name of it, we can name it as poo. <laughs> we can, we can name, name it as poo. So poo and the